Perfect. Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com and excited, very excited that you're joining me today for our paper crafting class. Yay! We are going to work on a fast and easy project today using some of our scraps. Who else has tons of scraps besides me? Tons and tons and tons of scraps. So I'm going to pull out some of my scraps and we're going to make a fun little quilted card. So hopefully you guys enjoy that one. So ready? You ready to jump over and do our fun? Yes. Let's go ahead and switch the camera over. Oh, before I do that, behind me. Oh, look at those fun projects. We have Maker's Mojo this weekend. So we kick it off on Friday at noon. Our first presentation is at 3 p.m. Eastern. And then we have a second We'll go for a few hours. I think we have three presentations on Friday, and then we will do an additional seven. Yes, seven, if I can count, right? We have 10 presentations total. So the other seven will start at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday. Can't join us live. It's okay. Everything's pre-recorded. But register now if you want to join us. If you're feeling like you just could use a little motivation, um, a little inspiration, Maybe you're in a little bit of a rut, right? Maybe you're not getting the joy out of crafting that you'd like to, and you remember you used to. Come join us. Let us inspire you. It's so much fun. We have a great time together, and there's chances to win prizes. So join us now. I will put a link after the video is over so that you can um, go ahead and join us if you're not already subscribed to come join us for the event. And I, I'm telling you, we've got some good stuff coming. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera over. Let's start our paper crafting on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'll show you guys some sneak peeks before we uh, end today as well. So, Welcome all of those that are here. I appreciate you um, watching with me, joining me each week. Uh, if you're new, welcome as well. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content I'm sharing, definitely share it with your crafty friends. I appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing okay. Um, if you've got questions on anything and I don't answer them during the live, leave me a comment and I'll be sure to get back around and answer those questions. So, all right. So I am literally pulling in some paper scraps and making this what I think is a super cute springy card, right? How fresh and fun is that? And it's super easy, right? So I think this card is perfect for just sending a card just because, right? And of course, we're bringing our design to the inside with just a little subtle spot there in the corner. I am pulling in the Around the Bend stamp set. So this stamp set is actually gonna carry over into the new annual catalog. So you'll still be able to get it, however, this one is paired with some dies, which I didn't use today, but you will see in one of my presentations during Maker's Mojo this weekend, um, and the bundle is being discontinued, the bundled savings, right? That special price. So if you're interested in this one, definitely jump on and get that one. Stampin' Up! has just announced that we're going to have a free shipping day for orders that are $75 US dollars or above, you're gonna get free shipping. That's a big deal. So shipping is um, about 11%, minimum shipping is uh, 7.95, but it's about 11% of your order once you reach that 7.95 minimum threshold. Um, and then in my state, we also are charged tax on shipping. So it's even bigger savings there. So definitely something to get in on. Um, several of the products we're gonna to use today are on the last chance list and retiring. And some of them are some great steals. So let's talk about that. So we talked about the Around the Bend bundle, which um, I'm using the sentiment on the inside. But on the front of this card, we are using this um, Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. Now, of course, you can use any paper you've got on hand. You could use solid strips of cardstock. You could mix and match with pattern paper. You could add embossed strips. There are, the possibilities are endless with this, but I particularly love this paper because it is so fresh and springy. Um, and this paper pack is on sale for $9.60. So definitely a bargain to grab. This Fresh Freesia ribbon, I am a huge fan of Fresh Freesia and so happy that Fresh Freesia as a color is carrying over, but this ribbon is not. And it's on sale for $2.80. Oh my goodness. 
And then we've got the in color opal rounds. I've also pulled those in and those are on sale for $6 and 80 cents. Um, and then here we're going to pull in the amazing thanks dies and those are marked down to $10 and 80 cents. So lots of fun stuff that you could get very inexpensive if you don't already have them. Hey, Susan, so glad you're here today. Yes, bright and sunny. Love the sunshine. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I did this. I'll slide that over to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet. This is perfect. You can see I got glue all over it. This is a perfect tool to pull in when you are going to um, do a technique like this, right? Because you're going to get a little sticky here and there. Maybe. It depends on you, right? All right. So I've got my piece of basic weight cardstock, and I'm going to start with just any strip of paper. And you can start in either direction, whatever makes your heart happy, okay? I am going to change my colors up just a smidge today. Um, still using scraps from the same paper, but let's change it up a little bit. So I'm going to start with this, this strip right here, and I am just going to... Add adhesive. You can put it on the whole thing. You can do it on part of it. You can use liquid glue if you prefer. That is entirely up to you. And I am going to kind of straddle that corner. And you, the angle doesn't matter, really. You just put that down. All right. So now I'm ready for my next strip. And so I'm just going to repeat this process. I'm going to start off. I like to start with three in the center to get this, this kind of started. And I'm leaving just a small gap between these, these strips here. I'm not long enough, so I need to pull this off again. See if I can do that without destroying it. Just going slowly, pulling a little bit at an angle. Now you could use your heat tool to heat that up if you need to. Uh, I didn't need to, so I'm glad, right? I did better that time. All right, there we go. And now I'm leaving little strips behind because I kind of want this to look like a little quilt pattern, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You do not have to leave little strips. All right, let's keep going. And so you can build any pattern that you want to build. So you could keep going like I'm doing here. You could do them all in the same direction, but I'm gonna change this up. I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna come off at this angle as well, okay? So let's bring in, we're going to bring in this little purple polka dot. Now I'm not going to go as long on the adhesive on this one. Um, let's go right here. Why not? And I'm going to pull it back just a smidge because I want to leave that same little gap in there. All right. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So let's bring in this little strip here. So we could use whatever side of the paper you want to use. Whatever makes you happy. It's okay if your spacing is not even. That's not, a, that's not an important part of what we're doing, right? I don't think it is anyway. Ooh, let's bring in this little floral. I like this one. So the colors are going to look a little different on this one, right? I'm still pulling that fresh freesia in because it is one of my favorites. But, um, you know, you don't have to do it that way. You can mix and match. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to put that little piece there. Ooh, I like all these prints. I pulled in a few more prints on this one. And why don't we repeat? Oh, no, I don't have this one on there yet. We'll put this little one on there. Just in that little corner. And I'm just tearing these off just so I don't have a whole bunch hanging off. Now, you could trim this as you go. So the reason I'm using the silicone craft sheet is that I can really easily lift that right off the back of that silicone craft sheet, right? So if you wanted to go ahead and trim away as you go, you can, right? Just flip it over and trim these away. Just follow the edge of that cardstock with your paper snips. Now you could use your trimmer as well. I don't like to use my trimmer for this type of a technique because it's sticky, right? I got all this adhesive on these little strips that are sticking out. Um, so I don't really want to put that in my paper trimmer. You can, you may have to clean it, it's not a big deal. I just prefer not to do it that way, right? So all these great little strips, I'm going to clip that off. We'll see what it's looking like on the front. And then we're going to keep working. So you can change this up and make whatever pattern you want to make, right? That's what I love about this. All right. So that's looking pretty decent. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch our direction up a little bit. Um, how about, since that yellow piece was so small, 
let's go ahead and add another one coming in right here. Why not? I'm just, you know, making it up as I go. It's all good, all okay. <laughs> I think maybe I'll pull in this one next. It's looking good. Uh, how about a little bit of this little floral here? So I don't have this planned out. I've not made one with these this uh, grouping of prints before. Um, I'm just winging it as I go here. And so you can just lay it out, be happy with it. Nice, okay. So then I'm gonna pull this off. Again, I can go ahead and trim those or I can just go ahead and rotate this, whichever way I wanna go about it. And let's go in, let's bring in this plaid one again. Hadn't used that in a bit. So I'm gonna bring that one in. Can I go there? Why not? And I'm gonna bring in this daisy again. So really, whatever you wanna do, you could put as fewer colors in there or as many colors as you want in there. Entirely up to you on how you wanna do it. Are you liking this? Will you give this a try? I hope so. So I hear, rumor has it, is that Melissa will be doing some fun projects with scraps. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that or not. She might get mad at me. Don't tell. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, but supposedly, my understanding is she is doing some fun stuff with scraps. So I'm excited to see what she's doing. Um, I've got just a little smidge there and that's going to drive me nuts. I know that's dumb, but I'm going to do it anyway because it makes me feel better. <laughs> All right. Hopefully it'll stick, right? There's very little on there. I may have to just pull it out and be happy with a white space there. We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll trim it off and see what we've got. Let's go ahead and trim these edges off and then we'll finish that last little quadrant. So I may be able to use these pieces, right, that are straight. Although they're sticky, so I'm just going to get rid of them. You know how I am with stickiness. I don't like to be sticky. So we probably will just get those out of our way, right? And hopefully I'm in camera as I'm clipping these away. Hey, Kathy, so glad you're here today as well. Nice. Okay, that's turning out pretty good. Now, I'm not really missing that little dot right there. If that bothers anybody, let me know. I'm hoping that by the time we get the card together, we won't even notice that that is uh, doing what it's doing, right? <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's see. What don't I have over in here that I'd like to pull in? So why don't we pull in another strip of this one? I feel like I'm going the wrong way here. There we go. So we've got that one in. And since I didn't get this one in that corner, let's go ahead and put this down. Why not? Get that one in. All right, we've got one more that we can put in. Da -da, which one do I want to do? So many choices. All right, since I love Fresh Freesia, I'm going to put the Fresh Freesia one in there. All right, so then let's lift this one and clip away our last section. So much fun. So these really are fast and easy, right? I think that looks great. What do you guys think? Like it, don't like it? And of course we can orient it however we want to. I actually kind of like it that way better. I don't know why I just do. There's something about it that, that seems pleasing to my eye. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, I got paper stuck to me. All right the beauty of the silicone craft sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and layer this right on fresh freesia. And boy, doesn't that change the look of it? So I think depending on, you'll have to try different colors, right? Depending on what your scraps are that you're using, try different colors of cardstock to frame that. Um, Cause it really can change and really make the card look quite a bit different. And I just did a really skinny border on mine. All right, so let's get our card base. We're using some thick white. I prefer thick white and vanilla when I'm using those as my card base most of the time. Every once in a while, I might use regular, and that's 
depending on a fun fold or something like that. For a standard card, I find this the easiest. And then I'm going to pop this up on the front. Yes, because that's what I like. You don't have to pop yours up. Oh, good. Kathy, you like it? Hey, Jean, so glad you're here today. Hope you're feeling all right. All right. There we go. So along with free shipping, so free shipping day tomorrow, very exciting stuff with that. Don't forget, I also have my awesome April going on, which is free items from my retired stash. So I have lots and lots of goodies in my retired stash. And for every $25 you spend with me, of course, you have to be in the U.S. to take advantage of this. Um, you can pick an item from my stash. And then I will let you know the shipping cost to mail that to you. And then you have free goodies. So much fun. All right, perfect. So next, I have got a circle that I die cut using the, I think it was this one. Yeah. The third one, two, three, maybe it's the fourth smallest. I probably have the wrong size written down. Fourth smallest circle there. And I am going to put this down on the front here. Now you could do it flat. You could pop it up. I'm going to pop it up. Why not? Let's just pop it up. Put some dimensionals on it. You don't have to pop it up again. Just kind of frame our little sentiment here. This is a fun way to send a card to a friend just because, right? So I've got that popped up. I'm not sure I popped up the original, but I'm popping this one up. All right. And then. I've got a circle that I've cut out. Oh, I should tell you the layering circles also on the last chance list. So these are going away. Um, they are not discounted, but they are going away. So if these are on your list, if yours are worn out, if you've got some and they're, they're kind of worn down, you might need a new set. And it looks like I did not grab the stylus shape. So this is the stylus shapes. Whoops. I believe it's the second smallest circle, although I could be wrong since I didn't grab that. Um, this is not retiring. This is staying in, thank goodness. I don't know what I would do if it was going away. I'd be super sad. All right, so I've got, oh, approximately, who knows how much ribbon? Like, I don't know. Just pull off some ribbon that looks good to you. That actually is really excessively long. Let's, uh, I must have just grabbed what was on the end of a spool. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to just fold it back and forth. Kind of looks like a bow, but it's not quite as chunky as a bow. And then we'll clip this off. I wanna say this is probably, my best guess is gonna be 18 inches. I'll have it in the supplies after the video. I'll make sure I give you the measurements, the actual measurements. I'll look them up, and make sure I give you the right measurements. Oh, and my dimensionals again, cause I am gonna pop this one up as well. So you could stamp on this instead of doing what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to use this die cut um, from the Amazing Thanks to create that U die cut out. But you could stamp a sentiment on this as well. Of course, you would do that before you would adhere all this together. Oh, you had snow, Jean? Blah. I could never live in Oregon. Nope, 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 nope. I'm so done with winter, hence the spring card. <laughs> I am all in for spring. <laughs> all right, now the next part I wanted to show you, I actually didn't pre-die cut this because I wanted to show you guys using adhesive sheets. I don't know if you've ever used adhesive sheets. So our adhesive sheets come in a six by 12 size and um, there's multiple sheets. I think there's 12 sheets in here. And this is kind of nice. So they have these, I don't know if you guys can see this. So there's backing paper on it and they're in sections. So like two inch sections. So I just cut off a piece and um, that backing paper makes it easy to expose the sheet and get that down on your cardstock. So I have a scrap, which is always harder, right? But I am going to lift that edge. Oh, and so that must have been where the seam was between two of those backing papers I was telling you about, right? So I'm just going to pull that off. This is the sticky side, and I'm just going to put that on my cardstock. Now you want to run this with, rub this with your bone folder. You want a nice, good adhesion of that paper to the back of your cardstock, right? 
And then, oh, who knows what I got on there already. I'm going to pull in the Amazing Thanks dies. Sad that these are going away, but they are going away. And again, they are on sale for $10.80. You can't beat that. So I'm going to put this on my cardstock over the top of where I put that adhesive. So let's go ahead and die cut that out. So let me grab my mini. I'll grab my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I got it hidden underneath here. I don't normally die cut on camera. I don't like to, but I'm doing it for you guys, right? All right. So it says to put down for die cutting plate one and two plate twos. I like to switch out um, one of my plate twos for plate four, which is intended to be for embossing, but um, it gives less pressure and it makes it a little easier to go through the machine. Now, some dies, you need plate two, right? It depends on how intricate it is and how much pressure it needs because this will not give really hard pressure. So we'll see, this may not cut all the way through. We'll see what happens with that. Um, adhesive sheet on the back. Sometimes you need a little more pressure. Oh, it looks like it cut it out pretty good. Yeah, I'm good. Yay. Like it when that works. But I find that using plate four instead of another plate two, so sometimes it's hard to get this to your sandwich to slide through that mini cut and emboss machine. So you have to offset your plates so that these aren't all even. But with plate four, I can have them all even and it works just fine. So just a little tip little tip for you in case you haven't tried it. All right, so let's use my take your pick and get that out. And those little bits should come off when I pull that adhesive sheet off the back. So this is the part I love. So you guys know I'm not a big fan of liquid glue. I do use it. There is a time and place for it. And this is what I would normally use for something like this is liquid glue. But oh my gosh, so much easier to just peel away the backing paper. Let's poke out that little dot there and literally lay this down on my project, give it a little push and it's done. And I don't have glue all over me. My hands aren't all sticky. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's pull in our in color opal rounds. I have almost used all of these. I love them. And again, another item that I'm sad is going away and it's on sale, $6.80, can't pass that up. All right, let's sprinkle on a few of these. <laughs> you can put on a lot of them if you want to. Put on three, it's probably good. We could put on more, but I'm gonna stop there, I think. So just a cute, cute card, right? So it's very fun. Send it to anybody for any occasion, but we're not done. We're gonna bring the design to the inside because that makes it extra special. Definitely bring the design to the envelope as well. I don't show that very much, but um, you could easily do the same technique with the envelope flap. How fun would that be? I think that would be amazing. Okay, so I'm bringing in another piece of basic white, same size as I have on the front. And I want to pull in this design to the inside. So I'm gonna grab some of these scraps and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put a couple of them on here. Um, let's pick this polka dot one. Got to pick fresh freesia, right? That needs to be on the inside. Look at that. I got layers all stuck together. Just going to bring in a couple of them. And we'll clip that off in just a moment. Let me go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So I am using Calypso Coral. So I'm, I'm tying that to the front. <clears throat> and bringing in that hello there. So this is, this is a card to send for no reason, right? Just because. You want to say hello, you want to brighten up someone's day. I mean, it makes, you know, how do you feel when you get a handmade card in the mail? Does it just brighten up your whole day, your whole week sometimes, right? Oh, good. Kathy, thank you so much for liking and sharing. I do appreciate that. That helps me get my name out there. It is much appreciated. All right. And we will just clip this extra cardstock away or actually designer paper. Pattern paper, designer paper, DSP, lots of ways you can name this. Demonstrators like to call it DSP for designer series paper. We're acronym happy, right? All right, so let's go ahead and adhere this right onto the layer as well. Kind of fun, right? So I could make so many of these with the scraps, just with the scraps I have on my table. 
I could make so many more of these. Get this down in. Cute, right? All right, do you have a preference? They look very different. It's all from the same pattern pack. I use some of the same prints on both. Um, and then I changed some of them up. So I, I think they're both really, really fun. Oh, yes. Happy mail. So, so nice. Uh, your family doesn't send cards? No. All right. We got to bring that back. We got to bring that back, people. We want everyone sending cards. People, I don't think people understand how it, how important that is. It's emotionally happy, right? So, like, look at this. I've got all these scraps. I could make so many more cards with these scraps. I have all kinds. And I end up with, I don't know if, I don't think I'm alone. Don't you end up with tons of these little strips? And I, I've chosen to use half inch strips, but these don't even all have to be the same size strip. You could use variations in width. That would change it up and it'd be fun too. You could use wider ones. Um, you could do all kinds of different patterns. This is just what I chose to do. But what I'd say is just take a section and work on your quadrant and then, you know, switch it around if you want to. Um, but yeah, you could do all kinds of fun. You could do chevrons, right? Like, you know, you, what I mean by that is you, like, you could come in and do, well, I got two of the same. Well, because I've got them all in my hand that way. You could, you know, do them like this. Right? and offset that maybe and put something like that in there so anyway play with it play with it it's a lot of fun it's like a, a paper version of quilting right lots of cool stuff all right you guys want to see some sneak peeks so thursday is your very last chance to um sign up for the conversation bubbles cultivated creativity um kit so that is my um diy paper crafting kit it is a subscription program, but it's risk-free. You can cancel anytime. You don't have to do more than one month if you don't want to. Um, that's entirely up to you, but it is a subscription setup. And then you cancel whenever you want to cancel. And I do let you know ahead of time what the next month featured bundle is. So we feature a, a stamp and die, stamp and punch, or just a stamp. Um, in our kit and you're gonna need that to create all of your projects. And then we send you a nice little goodie bag with some fun stuff in it and uh, all your cut kits and you get a tutorial. And I, starting this month, I'm not doing a video tutorial but I am doing a video introduction for the kit. So um, those of you that subscribe will have to give me some feedback on that but I'm running through the cards and giving you some tips and tricks uh that I'm pointing out so here are our projects love 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 these we're going to do a little spritzing if you want to love 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 and then of course we do one item that is a not not a card and this is a super cute velcro closure um you've got a gift card it's got a little pocket or you can put a treat. Uh, it fits two Ghirardelli holder uh, chocolates. Uh, Ghirardelli, I can say that chocolates in there. So this is our fabulous kit for this month. Super exciting! Again, um, the last day, the last day to subscribe to that is Thursday. And then let me give you a sneak peek of one of my presentations for Maker's Mojo this weekend. So look how cool that is! I'm going to teach that card right there and i've got three additional alternates to share using products that you have at home so it's not a sales driven event it is um, to have you try things that you have at home right of course i always end up with a long wish list of things that i want after the event but we're sprinkling in a few new products that will uh some sneak peeks of things coming um, your way in the new annual catalog that starts on May 2nd, I believe. If you can't wait to get your hands on items out of the new catalog, join my diamonds team and add some items to your kit. You get to fully customize your starter kit these days. And I love that. That was not the case when I signed up. But yes, you can choose any products that you want from any of the catalogs. Um, now, of the new catalog, there's select items available that we can choose, but you can still get your hands on some of those goodies. So this is super cool, and I'm going to teach you how to make this at Maker's Mojo this weekend. Yes? 
Love receiving happy mail. Yes, yes, me too. All right, I'm not going to show you the other one. The other project I'm doing is a fun fold, super fun and easy as well. You'll love it. All right, thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate it. And I hope that you'll join me again next Tuesday. Again, if you want to keep up with everything I've got going on, you definitely want to join my email list. So there'll be a link in the description of the video. You'll have to expand it to say show more. And then you're going to see um, lots of good information. And I will add in the complete supply list for today's project and the cut dimensions in both Imperial and metric so that you can recreate this project on your own. Uh, links right into the uh, supply list. If you need to add anything to your shopping cart, you simply click the link. It'll add it to your cart and you're ready to go. So again, don't forget free shipping tomorrow and earn your uh, free items from my stash, my awesome April stash. All right. Thank you all. Have a great week and I will see you hopefully again next